super excited to see what's in this box. Let's see. No problem. Who's ready to see? I'm ready to see. Oh. Yes. It's nicely packaged. So we got the little label. Thank you for choosing us. Yes, thank you for choosing us. Let's see if we can do this nicely. All right, let's open this before we open the rest. Oh, oh, it's got a very beautiful brochure. Hi, we're Gona. We are artisans. We are sustainable. Our commitment to achieve a better future is always progressing. We bring that optimism and excitement to life through unique and innovative pieces to wear and share. Love it. Love it. All right. So I guess this must be what the store looks like. The Paris flagship store and the Paris Charms Boutique. The best wishes to you as long as possible. Oh, I have a very personalized card. Dear Habiba, wishing you a charming day ahead. Your influence adds a touch of elegance to everything you do. Enjoy our custom bracelet charms and continue to inspire. Have a nice day. Gona Jewelry. Oh my God, that is so sweet. I was not expecting that. I love these little touches. And then this is just the invoice, which tells me what I have. 925 sterling silver certificate. All of these, all of this paperwork. Okay. Let's go to the box. We'll start with this cute little box. Feels so nice. What is this? Wow, look at that. These almost look like some earrings I have. Yeah, they have like little diamonds on them. And then you have these charms to go on the earrings. So pretty, so sparkly, lovely. If you look closely, it looks like it's got the symbol of the evil eye for protection inside a sundial. I okay, love it. Put that there. Okay, let's see. Wow, 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 wow. This looks like a gold snake. Look at this chain. I guess it could be a bracelet, but no, I think it's a necklace. I love how unusual this chain looks, but this is actually their sterling silver classic chain necklace in 14 karat gold plating. They also have the option of rose gold or white gold. Next, we have this one, and this feels fairly heavy. Wow. Yeah, they put all the charms on the bracelet. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. This is a work of art, as they say. So you don't have to wear all the charms on one bracelet, but I have here a variety of charms. There's this charm that holds the bracelet together. And then, let's see. I picked this one. See it? And then there's this dangly one. It's like so beautiful and then there's this yellow one Look at the little bird and the flowers so this one is a dangly one you can put this on earrings you know if you had hoop earrings you can put it on in hoop earrings or you can hang it from a necklace or again, you can hang it from a bracelet. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, I love this one. Look at this heart. That is so pretty. Look at this heart. And then look at this one. I, I picked this one because it has my birthstone. Um, you can pick birthstones. You can pick some of these charms depending on 
the special occasion or what it means to you. They have so many different varieties, different patterns. Look at this heart with all the little sparkly diamonds on it. Look at that. Even the bracelet without any of the charms really looks beautiful and this is the bamboo style bracelet. It's quite nice being able to create a whole new jewelry piece by using different charms. So depending on your mood, depending on the occasion, you can just create a whole new piece with all of these unique and beautiful charms and it goes on quite easily. Now apparently Gona was established in Paris in 2020 and they have a factory in Hong Kong. They distribute worldwide, so there's worldwide free shipping on items over $39 currently and there is a 365 day warranty and 30 day return. So don't forget to use my discount code which I will leave on the screen for 20% off. According to the brochure, Gona has become synonymous with the notion of magical treasures. I like that. Crafted with love at heart. Also, apparently, unlike Pandora's cute cartoon style, Gona's design style leans towards nobility, exquisiteness, and elegance. If you're curious and want to see how the products are made, check the description box. I will leave a link to a video and to their website. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting this. So this comes with the uh, polishing cloth. Nice. In each bag, in each gift bag. It's all these extra touches. Beautiful. And then what's this? Oh wow. So yeah, you get all the little pouches and goodies to present your jewelry. The velvet pouch is adorable and a great way to store your jewelry or travel with it. And um, I love all the packaging that they included. A nice birthday or Christmas present. Any friend or relative would appreciate this. Thank you, Gona. Mm. Oh, you thought I was already done up, right? No, that takes work. We need to do my hair. I got to wash my hair and it's going to be a lot of work. So here we go. Hair's washed and dried and let's style it. I'm going to add some moisturizer as you can see. And I think I'm going to put my hair up in one. Okay. Because I want my hair to look nice and sleek and cute to match that beautiful jewelry we just looked at. Right. I deserve to look cute with all of that beautiful jewelry. So I'm just undoing my twists and I will be wearing this ponytail which I bought from my local beauty shop for under $20. Just like those charms, they are affordable <laughs> and under $20 for most of them. But yes, let's comb our hair out gently, very gently. Now we have this giant afro and yes, I have a lot of hair. So it's going to be a challenge to brush it all the way back. And I'm trying not to put a lot of hair product in my hair because I've just washed it. So I don't want to sleek it back with gel. So we're going to try to use this brush. Yeah, it got serious. I took my glasses off. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work, honestly. But I'm going to use minimum product and try to put it in one. Yeah, she's looking cute with her own hair. But again, I want more. So we want high volume, high drama, why not? Adding a few elastic bands to condense my ponytail. And then we go ahead and attach the ponytail. And this is synthetic hair, affordable, easy. This is my go-to look. Wrap it around and it is secured. So that was, that didn't look too hard, right? <laughs> but actually it does take me a minute, a minute or more to put it on. So now I'm just combing it through, making sure there's no tangles. And I'm going to add this to give it a little bit of shine. Again, minimum product. My hair is still kind of puffy, but it's good. Eco Styler Gel just for the edges. And, you know, get it all nice and neat. Get the baby hairs in place. 
nothing too serious. And then we're almost done. So now I'm adding a scarf and then I tie it down. That's going to, you know, get it to set. And then we'll focus on doing makeup. So before I apply makeup, the first thing I usually do is moisturize. My product of choice is usually Clinique. And then I focus on my brows. This pencil is by Benefit. So I try to make sure that the strokes I apply look very similar to my natural brows. And then I use the spoolie and brush it up so that it sort of blends it all in without any harsh lines. I try to make sure my brows aren't drawn too close together and not too far out. So important where they stop. If I want my brows to look really dramatic, then I usually use concealer underneath to clean it up. But this time I'm actually using foundation. So this is just my regular foundation, you know, using a fine brush to clean it up under the brow. So I'm just doing the second brow and you can see a little bit better how I do it. And um, yeah, you know, just practice, practice. Then the spoolie <laughs> and then I clean it up with the foundation. And again, you can use concealer if you want it a lot more dramatic. And then some concealer on my eyelids. Then it's all blend, blend, blend. Sometimes I use my fingertips, sometimes I use a sponge or even a brush. Now this foundation I'm applying is a little bit darker than my regular foundation. That's because I didn't have color corrector. But now I apply the Giorgio Armani foundation in my own color and you know, it, it, it works out, it works out, you'll see. So basically I cover over the darker foundation. And again, that's to hide some of the sort of dark pigmentation that happens when you get older. Then I apply some brightening concealer under my eyes. This is not gluten-free, but I like how it looks, although it sometimes irritates my eyes, which are very sensitive. Next comes some finishing powder, or you know, some people call it baking powder. I'm not really using it to bake. I like applying it because it does brighten my makeup, and also if there is eyeshadow fallout, you get to brush it off later. So I usually start off with a neutral color, and then I'm going bold. I think we'll go bold with this aquamarine color. I always start at the corner, the outer edge of my eyelid, just in case I don't like it. And then we blend, blend, blend in a triangular fashion. So you kind of, you know, follow the shape of your eye and blend, make sure it's blended well. You don't want this big glob of eyeshadow. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I always like to follow it with a little bit of gold right in the center of my brow. So not all over, just right by the center outward. Now I'm brushing off the powder. And then I always have liquid eyeliner to do my eyelids. That is my thing, this cat eye look. That's what I am probably known for when it comes to makeup. I always have the cat eye look. I've done it for years, I love it. And then I also applied some mascara and now we're gonna do these Ardell Naked Lashes. Very light, very easy, they're barely there. And then this is the Duo Glue for Sensitive Eyes. It does not have um, formaldehyde in there and it does not have uh, latex for those of us that might be sensitive. My mirror has to be in this position in order for it to work. Otherwise it doesn't work when I'm looking directly at the mirror. So this is it, very natural looking I think, nothing over the top. Followed by some dark brown pencil, the pencil is nice and soft. And then I smudge it to soften it further. Now some blush, a little bit of blush. <laughs> and some Chanel lipstick. Okay, done with the makeup, let's take off the scarf. And we're almost done. We just need some jewelry. I have to say these pieces from Gona actually feel like great quality. Really great quality and I love these earrings. They're so beautiful. I also like the bracelet and of course I love that queen charm. What is your favorite piece so far that you've seen? And would you wear these pieces together or is it too much? Oh, that's me trying to do the pose like on the brochure. <laughs> How did I do? Almost, right? Not quite. <laughs> 
hair done, makeup done, jewelry on, but we forgot to give you the scent of the day. Chanel, of course. The one and only Coco Mademoiselle. I hope you've enjoyed this get ready with me and the unboxing and definitely check out Gona Jewelry. They are beautiful, they are well made and they are affordable. I'm sure you'll find something that appeals to you if you're into starry skies, oceans, nature, animals, love, emojis, retro, modern art, whatever. I'm sure you will find something you like. And again, thank you for hanging out with me. Let me just sit back and relax and enjoy my soft life. <laughs> Bye.